Okay. I'm uh, test driving a couple of new things. I uh, bought some new pants over the holidays that so far seem to be working pretty well. It's only about 55 degrees out here, so it's not terribly cold. But they're already definitely warmer than my, uh, you know, blue jeans, even with rain pants over them. Although I'm thinking I may need to wear something underneath these to uh, make it a little bit warmer. They're not as warm as the last cold weather riding pants I had that finally died. Uh, and then I've got a set of new earbuds that have all these different in-ear pieces. Um, they, the, the cord hooks over the ear, which I like because that way if something pulls on a cord, it won't necessarily pull the bud out. Um, and they, they fit a little bit deeper into the ear so that one of the issues I have out here is that uh, when I'm going through the mountains, you know, your ears start to pop. Well, the pressure changes have, in the past, have actually squeezed the earbuds out of my ears. Um, because there's more pressure in the ear canal between your eardrum and the, the earbud than there is outside, you know, holding it in. Uh, at the Deals Gap meetup, I was fighting that non-stop. So I got some new ones for Christmas. And I can already tell you that the inserts that I have in right now don't block enough sound. Uh, I can hear the engine sound way too well. Which for a shorter ride really isn't that big of a deal. But, okay people, I know your light's green, idiots. Uh, for a shorter ride, it's, it's not that bad. It's fine. Uh, in fact, there's not as many crosswinds out here as there are in Texas. I guess because of the hills. So that's where most of my wind noise came from was the crosswinds. So I can actually ride down the freeway out here without earplugs at all. And it's tolerable. Uh, back home it was just deafening. I mean there'd be a 20, 30 mile an hour crosswind half the time. But anyway, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to put the, the deeper uh, thingy, whatever you want to call it. Because um, this is just a little too much. But uh, I am on my way out to hunt down a yield sign for the solar bear challenge, which, well, this won't go up if I don't get in, so it doesn't matter, but hopefully uh, they'll let me enter a month late. Um, going up to Lookout Mountain, I'm gonna see if I can find one over there. I really don't know the area too well. I know where a couple are. I think I just passed one. But uh, you can't really stop and chant on the side of the highway. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to cut off. and it, it takes me 15 or 20 minutes to get up there. I'm not going to make y'all watch all that. So, uh, hopefully, I will find one. And we can go from there. Okay, this tiny ass little road ain't going nowhere. So, we'll just leave it right here. And there's your yield sign. That one plugged. I don't think there's anybody out here either. So, you go. Solar bear, solar bear, solar bear. Ah, solar bear, there's one. Hit my mirror, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear. There's two, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear. There's three, put that back, sorta. <laughs> okay, there we go. The 
polar bear yield sign. That thing is really loose. I have to tighten that up when I get home. I already had one bike with automatic folding mirrors. I don't need two. So yeah. There you go. Now that I'm all out of breath because I'm fat and out of shape. Uh, okay. Let's get this thing running again. Oh, come on. No! I don't like this. I think my battery's dying. Oh, yeah. Dead like a bitch! Ah, come on! Yeah, it's time for a new battery. <laughs> okay. That's my clue to go the fuck home. And then go to AutoZone. Because that's not good. Ooh, that's not stolid. Alright, I'll see y'all later.